Good evening. Oh gosh. I don't know if you can hear me because it covers my mouth. There we go. I feel very spa-like in my apartment right now. This, if you really want to know, is what someone looks like the night before they're having their makeup done by Charlotte Tilbury. What? <laughs> Do I scare you? I feel like this is a perfect face mask to wear when I'm telling you something really dramatic. Yes? What you just heard is true. Tomorrow, Charlotte Tilbury is going to be close to this face. So I don't think I'm ever going to apply as much moisturizer and hydration as I am going to be doing tonight. So yeah, that is what's happening tomorrow. We are doing a live YouTube together. <laughs> I honestly can't even take myself seriously with this face mask, but yeah, we're gonna be doing a live YouTube together tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous, to be honest, because I just feel like I have so many questions to ask her, and I also wanna be best friends at the same time. Once I saw her in a club, and she gave me her number. I still have her number on my phone, obviously I've never used it, but you know, when Charlotte Tilbury gives you her number, you take her freaking number. I don't know if she drinks, but maybe she was drunk when she gave me her number, like how awkward if I called her and then she was like, <laughs> How'd you get my number? This bloody face mask is really annoying, isn't it? This is the time when Charlotte would be like, you should have used my dry face mask. This is the Sarah Chapman one, by the way, but it does add a lot of hydration. Oh, by the way, look above me. Oh my gosh, I have been in this apartment since December and I haven't hung this up. Let me just show you. This is my version of art. Ignore that, because that's just stuff that's going on Depop and I just tried to hide it, but it just keeps piling up and up. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna show you from here. Oh, the pile of clothes is really killing the vibes right now, but just, oh, it's so pretty. I mean, it is literally hashtag basic, but I love it so much. It's my version of art. Art doesn't really speak to me, but pretty pink peonies, they speak to me. Oh, you know what I should show you? The palette we're gonna be talking about tomorrow. This is like my work evening summarized. It's like everything everywhere and then empty packets of dried fruit. This is the instant eye palette. Wow, it's so pretty. Tomorrow morning is not gonna be a morning for winged liner, is it? I'm going to the studio to do the YouTube live with a full face of makeup on because I have something beforehand and Charlotte is going to take off my makeup before reapplying it. So she'll see my makeup basically. I would have liked to go with no makeup on because then there's no stress of Charlotte Tilbury seeing your winged liner, you know? It's a very stressful <laughs> situation. Not as stressful as this face mask though, <laughs> Oh, I actually have one more thing I wanted to show you. Today, when I was on a walk with Duke, it is already officially conker season. And I filled up my entire coat pocket all with conkers. I just put my hand in my pocket and realized they probably have dog pee all over them. But I freaking love conkers so much. They just remind me of my childhood. So I'm like collecting them in this jar. Every time I go for a walk, I'm like putting them in this jar. They're just so insanely beautiful. When I was younger, we used to put a string through them and then put them on a necklace. I just want to fill this up with conkers because they make me so happy. I can't believe it's conker season already. Okay, I think it's officially time to take this face mask off. Wouldn't you agree? Ooh, <laughs> that feels very liberating. And now I feel much more young, wild and free. You know what I just realized? I touched the dog pee conkers and then I touched my face. The day has come. I'm on my way to go and meet Charlotte now to do our live chat. I knew I didn't have time for lunch, so I made some lunch <laughs> last night. Just chicken sausages and my rice as well. And I'm just gonna eat that in the car. I risked it with the wing liner today, but I don't think I've ever taken so long to do wing liner in my life. And I went with the, I think it's a desk look. Hold on, let me just double check my palette that I'm whipping out of my bag. Yes, it is a desk look. The one that looks the most used, basically. And that is my favorite look, and that's the look Charlotte's actually gonna do on me in the live video. I'm looking forward to seeing how she does it. I'm never gonna wanna wash my face, am I? Oh my gosh. I'm never leaving. <gasps> Cute. This is what you look like when you have a Charlotte Tilbury amount of magic cream on your face. <laughs> Wow, this is quite yeah. set up. We're going live in five minutes. We are done. When Charlotte Tilbury does your freaking makeup and you never want to wash your face ever again. Yeah. Minnie, thank you so much. You just had the best day. Having so much fun on YouTube so Live. First fun. ever. You're making history with me. Thank okay, you. Okay, can you just quickly tell everyone? I'm going to leave a link to the video. You can re-watch it yeah. down below. But, what but this is, okay, so we have just done, we have just launched my instant eye palette. 
it's my eye makeup wardrobe and in here we've got the desk look sorry the day look the desk we've been look, talking for like the an date hour. look and the disco look on amelia i have just done the desk okay, look just three and we just amped it up but isn't it pretty it. it's such a kind of and that's what you're wearing and that's well. what i'm wearing i'm wearing just the amped up shades. version and it's just three shades and it's so gorgeous and these Amazing. colors it's just literally look fabulous on everyone that's so good green eyes brown eyes they make them pop that was so fun thank you so oh much. Well, thank you so much fun thank you <laughs> this giant scent of a dream this is what the charlotte tilbury offices look like well that was quite a whirlwind of an afternoon i literally had to dash out of there because i have a doctor's appointment to get to right now that i literally couldn't miss i tried to postpone it and this was like the latest i could get this appointment and I'm rambling about nothing because, oh my gosh, Charlotte Tilbury just did my freaking makeup. When she talks, I genuinely get goosebumps. Whenever I get like a Charlotte Tilbury press invite, I run because I just want to hear her speak. She's so freaking passionate about what she does. You can just tell she puts her whole heart and soul into her products. As soon as you use any one of her products, you can just tell that it just has so much freaking genius behind it. I said this in the live video and I'll leave a link to it below if you want to rewatch it or just watch it if you weren't able to tune in. I literally mix three different eyeshadows to get my perfect crease color. I mix an Anastasia one, I mix a MAC one, and I also sometimes even use a bronzer. And this shade in this palette, one that she used on me today, is the exact shade that I've been looking for. It is just beyond. And the whole freaking palette is just blooming genius. Anyway, that was very exciting. And the Charlotte Tilbury team gave me, wait for it, literally a whole bag of things. I'm too excited. Oh, I've never seen this before. A lip archive. Honestly, it's just one of my favorite freaking brands ever. I love her so much. How many times did she say darling in the live? Every time she said darling, I was like, <laughs> it's just so funny the way she says it. I don't even know what's funny about it. It's just like her funny thing that she does. I'm so high on life right now. Can you tell? I just had my doctor's appointment, which was good. I mean, literally nothing can bring me down today. I'm on such a high. It's just catching up on everything, looking at my current regime and what I'm taking and blah, blah, blah. Nothing very interesting. But I'm actually going to Despina now super quickly to go and add a little bit more highlights around the front of my face. Can I just say that Charlotte Darling, which is on my lips right now, hasn't moved at all. It's amazing. And I am back with Despina. We're doing round two, a little bit longer, right? Yeah. That was always the plan, I think. Just to like tone it down a little bit and then amp it up again. So yeah, I'm just on my laptop, catching up on emails and things. I'm trying to write a blog post at the same time, but I keep dancing to music. I just put this new video live, which is what I wore in a week while I'm at the salon. Currently has no views. Oh, six views. Oh, I think that was just me, by the way. Not actually views. And I'm just waiting, replying to comments. I did it like kind of different vlog style. I basically just took my camera out every time I put on a new outfit for a whole week. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it down below. Hey, hey, it's the dream team on my hair. <laughs> now they smile. Everyone's stressed because it's like 6.30 under time pressure. It's a little bit later now. I'm much calmer and my hair is blonder. I wish I was doing something like unbelievable tonight because my makeup has been done by Charlotte Tilbury and my hair has just been done. I feel like I should go to a red carpet event or something. But instead i'm going for dinner with my family which sounds like it wasn't a plan but it was an actual plan my mum has made loads of yummy food and my uncle is here from the country can i just say it is now 8 30 and the lipstick is on amazingly hasn't budged at all sing it with me you should say the things we do baby mm. the biggest biggest perk of driving is being able to sing karaoke and dance in your car. Sing like no one else is there. If you don't do that in your car, then why the frick are you driving? See how this is gonna go. Touch me and you'll never be alone. I island breeze and lights down low. No one has to know. Sing it. Ready? In the middle of the night. Taylor Swift. 
I'm just full of such good vibes today. Like I'm just I always stop singing at red lights because the amount of times I've been singing having a dance party and then the car next to me is just staring at me laughing. So now when it comes to the red lights, I like play it cool and pretend like I'm a normal person. <laughs> my dad has just given me this DNA test that I'm spitting in because we're all doing them in my family. I can't remember what the company's called. It's like 23 and Me. I'm not really sure. I have to spit in it up to there. It's a lot of spit. <laughs> So I'm trying to elegantly spit on camera, but I don't think there's a way to elegantly spit. So until I filled it up to there, I'm gonna go. My spit is done. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to close this or not. We have chicken and fish. This is what we're all here for. Look at this rice. I always compare it to my finger because then you can actually see how big the rice platters are. Stew and salad. Just a casual night at my mum's. Somebody went onto my bed and stole my bunny. This is Bunny the third, and I'm not getting Bunny the fourth. Nope. Duke, leave. Leave. Look at his tail. He thinks we're playing. Leave, Duke. He's so confused. Good boy. He thinks he's getting a treat. Look at him. He's like, I'm getting a treat. I know, it's gonna be good. Okay, fine. Everyone was here tonight and they already fed you. You've already had a hundred treats today. But okay, because you're cute. Stay. Good boy. You know, when you get home and you're like, oh yes, I can take my makeup off. Today is probably the first day and last day of my life that I won't want to take off my makeup. Thank you so much to anyone and everyone that tuned in to the live video. We had people from all over the world. It was blowing my mind. I just feel so grateful and overwhelmed a bit today. It was just kind of weird. When Charlotte Tilbury opened her first counter in Selfridges, I was in the queue, ready to buy the products. I can't remember what I bought the first time. I think I bought Film Star Bronze and Glow. And I think I bought the lip liner, Pillow Talk. I think I got Dolce Vita palette as well. Oh, I got Wonder Glow. I definitely got Wonder Glow. I bought the entire counter. Good morning. It is Saturday morning and I am getting ready for the day. I've just put on a ton of magic cream and I woke up with this. Can you even see that? I mean, you can't not see it. How can you miss it? Literally growing a whole new face out of my face. I'm in the south of France at the moment with Dior for a really, really exciting trip today. We are going to Dior Jasmine Fields this morning, which will be so exciting. I love Jasmine. And then we're also doing some other amazing, amazing things today. So I'll take you around as well. I'm using my Dior Forever waterproof foundation under my eyes. This under eye concealer is amazing. It's like I've had like 24 hours sleep. I'm also taking over the Dior Instagram stories today and I'm excited to reveal the new fragrance as well. I'm trying to make myself look very bronzed today. We got here yesterday, we are just shooting all day and had a gorgeous, gorgeous dinner last night. Guys, I'm so obsessed with this, the Dior Nude Air Luminizer. It can be a bit much for the day, but you can build it and it just looks so beautiful on the skin. I've just used the Dior Pump and Volume Mascara and look at that for a before and after. It's so good. Just opened a new one, which is actually my second one now. Just doing a little bit of my brows. I normally never really do my brows and after the other day, now I'm like, okay, I need to make more effort with my brows. I'm using my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, which I love. I do actually show this one a lot and the other day, my grandma said that she bought it too. Now I'm gonna use some of my Glam Glow. I finished my mini bottle, which is normally what I take with me. This is the makeup setting spray. So I'm using the big one now. You know when your spot just has a mind of its own and it doesn't want to be covered? That's what's happening today. So I think what I'm just gonna do is uh, have like a strategic bit of hair placed over my cheek <laughs> at all times. <laughs> We've just got to the jasmine fields and it looks super 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 beautiful i'm already in my wellington boots ready to roll because it's been raining and just look look around it is so gorgeous and everything already smells so good but i can't wait to go and like 
dumped my face into so much jasmine. I love that smell. So we've just been exploring the jasmine fields. That dress I just showed you, the sleeve fell off. Luckily our suitcases are in the car, so I went to get my suitcase because I had a sleeveless dress. It's not the dress's fault because I was jumping on that car and I jumped up with my arms and then the sleeve just came off. Things you do for pictures. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a bit around the jasmine fields because it is so beautiful. This is the jasmine fields and this is the new fragrance J'adore L'Or. Mine's actually engraved so beautifully in gold because L'Or in French means gold in English and jasmine is the main ingredient in this which is why we are in the most beautiful jasmine fields. Everyone's picking their jasmine. I literally keep going and sniffing these baskets <laughs> like a crazy person because they smell so good. I'm with my gorgeous Dutch bingo. So happy to be together finally. Friend. Fringe. fringe. Fringe friend. It suits you so you, much. So is it in the UK you say fringe? Yeah. Not bangs. Not bangs. No, so it's you in the US you say bangs. Yeah. But last night I got to my room and I loved your fringe so much. I literally <laughs> put my hair over my head just to see what I it would look like I think you could do it. Like a my thick forehead. one. Yeah. No, but it doesn't matter because you can like cut it from here. So and then have people, it like down to here. And people will think like, like it's a long I have forehead. forehead. Oh yeah, if you start. It's you see what higher. I mean? I also yeah. started higher. It's so cool. Is it annoying to style every day yes. though? Yeah, that's my one thing. You know, I like only when you wash want to roll my hair out once a week. Yeah. So what I do now is like I just wash this. The, just the fringe. Yeah, that's like what I've heard. And then like the blow dry that's what I've it. Heard about that's fine. The fringe, from the fringes. It's great. You know, we can it's manage. Gorgeous. Hello. Wow. This is amazing. What do we think of my flower crown? My skills are questionable, but I still think it looks pretty and cute. Wow. We are now in the Dior fragrance lab. I've seen this in, this was in the Dior documentary, wasn't it? Yes. I'm not making that yes. up. I have seen this I in the Dior seen documentary. This. And it is fragrance heaven in here. I mean, look at all the old potions and lotions. It looks amazing. I'll show you right up there, all the old bottles. Yes. And we're gonna make our own J'adore. We are with Francois from Dior. He's over there in the suit. And he is going to take us through how to make the fragrance. So we're basically making our own and getting these exact amount of grams on the scale, which is way harder than it looks. That's <laughs> your How long have you worked for Dior? Eleven years. Wow. Is this one of your favorite creations? Um, no, one of them. No. Yes. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> one of them. It's like asking you to be the favorite child, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. That was unfair of me. <laughs> So we have come to Christian Dior's <laughs> home, his former and final home in France called Chateau de la Colle Noire. It's really, really special to be invited here, see his home and have lunch in his home. I haven't even been inside, but I've seen it on the Dior documentary and I know it's gonna be insane. Look who signed it, Marc Chagall, wow. Oh my gosh, look at this green. Dior's bathtub. Very refined, no? very He designed century. this himself. Yes. Wow. Very 18th century style. It's beautiful. And with the swan neck tabs. This is very Miss Dior. This is Christian Dior's office. Look at all of these sketches. Wow, it's so amazing. This is magical. So this is where Christian Dior used to sleep. This is his beautiful, beautiful bed. And you'll see the star right above the bed, which you can spot all around the house. This is magical. <gasps> Look at this beautiful, beautiful fireplace. Wow. Not only did we get a tour around Christian Dior's house, but we are now having lunch in the gardens at this beautiful table. I'm gonna come and show you this. I feel like I'm in a movie or something. I know I keep saying the same thing, but it's just such an honor. I can't believe I'm in Christian Dior's home. This is where we're having lunch, right up there. This is the view that we have. It's 
these beautiful gardens. And this is Chateau de la Colnoir. And this is where we're all having lunch. So I have an even bigger honour. I'm sitting next to Francois. <laughs> and of course, Vic is here too. The light is funny because it's so Sorry. funny behind us. Look at this dessert, which is like the J'adore J'adore bottle. It is so beautiful. Look at all those layers. I changed into this dress for lunch, which I thought was kind of appropriate because it has little flowers on it. So it's almost like blue jasmine flowers. It actually comes with this belt and I bought the two together. So the belt like comes with the dress. And then I'm wearing these shoes as well and my beautiful Dior bag. And I will link everything down below because I bought this dress. A week ago. We have been doing a lot of shooting this afternoon and I've managed to film some amazing amazing things with the help of the Dior team for my Instagram video so hopefully that will be coming up on Sunday or maybe even sooner than that because I just can't wait to post it. Hopefully it's gonna be an amazing video when it's all edited together. They even have a huge J'adore sign on the floor and a drone. It's a full-on production this video so I'm really really excited about it. This day has just been beyond. I feel like we've done so much and seen so much and I've got to know the new J'adore Law fragrance in a really really amazing special way. Carol who looks after the jasmine fields and I think it's her whole family that actually runs the jasmine field is saying that it's four months of the year that the jasmine harvest. They have to get enough jasmine to go throughout the whole year just in those four months. You need 10,000 flowers for one kilogram so you really need to fill up your entire basket. I mean it was amazing. It was so beautiful. This whole day has just been out of a complete dream. 19 kilos for one evening. <laughs> That's light for me. Hi Nudie! Hi Nudie! Hi Nudie! Hi Nudie! Hi Nudie! What are you doing? I am back from that beautiful trip with Dior, which was beyond amazing. I can't even believe it happened today. I feel like I've just got home and woken up and that was all some sort of miraculous dream. It was so beautiful. I'm super grateful for the Dior teams for having me on such a beautiful trip and I can't believe I actually got to have lunch at Chateau de la Connoir. Anyway, I'm trying to be in a hundred places at once right now and go to my friend's engagement party which started an hour ago. It's now 9 p.m. I literally just got home, had the quickest shower ever, and now I am refreshing my makeup. Ready? And my last step is fragrance. I mean, you know what fragrance I'm using right now. My new Dior J'adore L'Or. Oh, it smells so good. If you like jasmine, you will love this. There's also rose in there as well. Oh. Okay, I'm late. <laughs> Selling my fragrance. You've already seen this dress, but I'm just gonna show you again because I love it so much. And I'm actually wearing this bag with it because I just think the flowers on the bag look so cute with the flowers on the dress. I'm all flowery tonight. Anyway, I'm gonna leave my vlog camera here because have you seen the size of my bag? So I will see you later on. Good night. It is Sunday now. I've had a super productive morning so far. And I normally don't really walk Duke this late, but you know when you just get in the zone and then you just rolling with it. So after today is mainly work, I have quite a few things I wanna get done before Paris fashion week this week and I would also like to see David at some point because September's been such a busy month for both of us actually and because it's fashion week and there are so many events and things like that it's been very full on so I haven't seen him in a couple of weeks properly so I would like to see him at some point today he's also working today so hopefully our schedules will collide at some point but that's honestly been the truth about my life in September because it's just such a busy month honestly I wouldn't have it any other way it's been so amazing and September isn't even over yet and I'm like Phil filled with good vibes. Luckily he's a very, very supportive boyfriend. Your opinion does really matter to me and obviously my vlogs are more like what's actually going on at the time and that is the truth about what's going on right now. September's like the busiest, busiest month of the year so everything is pretty much work related right now. So I apologize because I know you guys like to see a big variety of like work things I'm doing and my family, hanging out with my friends and things like that and seeing new things around London. But I guess that is the magic of vlogs. It's just what's going on right now and that's why i love watching vlogs as well oh guys the leaves are already falling wondering if there are any conkers <laughs> that i can add to my conker jar the plan was to show you what i was gonna make for dinner and then david had already eaten and i made my salmon fish cakes which i've shown like a thousand times and i burnt them so they didn't taste or look very good. Plastic. And plastic, David says. That's nice. Yeah, they were pretty plastic. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog here. It is Sunday night and we are just trying to find something to watch on TV. What were you watching before? The Dragon's, Dragon's Den. Den. We were pretty tired before Dragon's Den, but then <laughs> it's just such a like mentally stimulating. It's not mentally, that's the wrong thing to say, isn't it? No, it is. It's like, I don't know, it just gets you thinking.
Is that the same thing? Mental stimulation. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sunday night mental brain. I'm going to go now. I will see you on Monday with another video. I think it might be a whole video. I'm not really sure. I subscribe. think. Subscribe. So. And David says subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you on Monday. Bye.